welcome to Bujo Bag. Today I'm doing my April setup. The theme I chose for April is strawberries because I wanted to do a red theme because I accidentally started a reverse rainbow with the tabs I use for every month. So I just picked out every red marker or red adjacent marker and thought of what I could do with those. And I picked strawberries because they're really easy to draw. As you can see, I'm just drawing these triangle shapes with rounded corners and then filling them in. Um, for the cover page, I chose to make a quote page on the left and then a big strawberry on the right. I'm using a thin fine liner for the strawberries to just outline them very messily because honestly if it's messy it's gonna look better. Um, and then draw these leaves very loosely. It doesn't really have to look perfect because it's the kind of sketchy look of it. Then I wrote in the letters of April. The font I chose, I just thought of the seeds of the strawberry, which I'm drawing in now, and just used that as inspiration for the font. The quote I chose is, if the universe didn't need you, you wouldn't be here, which I thought was a nice little reminder, you know, we're all a little unsure at times, so I put that on the front. Honestly, while I was drawing this quote, I was very unsure about it. I thought it looked bad, but honestly, when it was finished, it looked pretty good. So now we're moving on to the next page, which is the calendar page and also a space for me to put my brain dump and my to do's. So for this page, I started to draw strawberries for each letter of the word April. Um, you're gonna see me draw a lot of strawberries in this video. Um, I tried to change up the colors I used for the strawberries a bit so it seemed more random. I'll put the names of the markers I used down below in the description so you can see for yourself. But honestly, it doesn't really matter what color you use. You can just use one. You can use use whatever you have as long as it's strawberry colored i think it will be fine you can see that one of the colors i use is more orange but because the other colors are pretty red i thought it matched well so now i'm going in with the font i try to use the same font you can see me referencing it but honestly it doesn't really matter as long as it's kind of the same now you can see me drawing the lines of the calendar. Honestly, I just freehand them every time. I don't, I don't really care about how straight they are. Um, I've given up on rulers because they smudge too much in my taste and it takes too long. Here you can see I'm a little confused because I forgot to draw the boxes properly. Um, so rulers are not for me i don't really care if the lines aren't exactly straight so now we're moving on to my brain dump slash to do page this is where i write down any notes i have throughout the month and where i write to do's that don't really have a specific date for them you can see that for the strawberries i put on either side i didn't draw any seeds i did go back in later and draw them on these are my tracker spreads. I track my mood on one side and then on the other side I have my habit trackers. You can see me just using the same font from before, struggling a little bit. <laughs> so before I went in with the fine liner, I actually sketched out very lightly with pencil where all the strawberries should go because I'm not that good at guessing how big they should be, so I just drew a little circle and then I used the colors I used for the strawberries in the other pages and wrote down the scale of my mood. And then I just went in and numbered them all. 
So now we're moving on to my habit trackers. I have five trackers this time. I really only started tracking any habits in the beginning of this year. Before that, I didn't really use my bullet journal that regularly, but because I'm now in school, I it's become a habit to use it every day, so it's easier to just keep up with the habit trackers. The things I chose to track are reading, whether I move that day, journaling, productivity, and whether I drink enough water. For the trackers themselves, I just drew bigger strawberries and drew the calendar inside. You can see that I messed up on that one, but I didn't fix it because I didn't really mind. Um, so, And then whenever I do the habit, I just put in a dot of black. Now we're moving on to my journal spread and my music spread. I have been doing this for this year. I've just been writing one line a day to just have a recap of every day. And then at the end of the month, I highlight which words or phrases that I use a lot or that were important to me so I can just look back at a glance and know what happened in that month. What I also did is I made a music spread which at the end of the month I just fill in what music I listen to a lot and then I have a little space for me to put in memories. I think I'm either going to be pasting pictures in there or write down a memory of that month. Now we're at my first weekly um, I set up all my weeklies in the beginning of the month because I don't really have time every weekend to set it up and I use them ahead of time for deadlines and stuff. This month I have two types of weeklies. This is the first one. Um, the first two weeks of April I have Easter break which is going to be used mostly for studying. So I want to be able to have a lot of space for to-dos. So I can write down everything I need to do that day. I don't really have deadlines, so I don't really need space for that. I also have a space for notes and for tracking the weather. It's something that I've been doing for a while because I just had space and started using it that way. I don't really need that much space in these types of weeklies, so I can spare it. So for the second weekly, I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just drawing the strawberries and then putting inside the numbers inside. I use the smaller strawberries as the first letter of each section and then I just drew the April lettering. It's not really accurate at this point, the font, and you can see I again made a mistake and I just left it, I think. Yeah, I don't really care for mistakes as long as they're not terrible. So for my last two weeklies, I use a system that I saw being used by Plant Based Bride on YouTube. I adapted it a little bit. I think she uses one for every day. I use one for the whole week. You can see that I wrote in the days of the week, both vertically and horizontally. On the right column, I just write down my deadline. Then the middle column is where I put down when I need to actually do that assignment and then on the left column I just write down any events or classes that I have. I think this system works really well for me. I used to kind of lose sight of when deadlines were and when the to-dos were. If I moved a to-do I it'd be pretty hard to see when the deadline for that to do was so with this setup you kind of have a overview of everything and you don't lose sight of anything if this is a bit confusing trust me it was for me but i will link the original video in the description if you want to learn more about it i highly recommend it because it's really helped me a lot and we're at the flip through I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more, please comment down below. If you have any advice, because this is my first video on this channel, so I'd really appreciate it if you liked, if you subscribed. I have more videos coming soon, and please enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you!